Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. Can you believe it's November already? It's November 4th, 2023. This year is almost over and tonight we are going to fall backwards and change the time if you're in uh, most states in the United States. If you're in another country, I don't know if you guys do that or not, but tonight we turn the clocks back and uh, get an extra hour of sleep, which is always awesome. But then it kind of throws your time clock off. And then you just keep waking up early every day for like a couple weeks. So <laughs> anyway, this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. And we are live right now. It's 12.01 Eastern Time in Chesapeake, Virginia. <laughs> I just saw Lucy's in the house. Veggie Jello salad. <laughs> Every time I think of that, I think of Lucy and Vita Vita Vegemin. <laughs> hey, Anya. Made it 9 o'clock your time. Hey, Mel. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Regina. Hey, Bobby. I didn't even start at the top. Hey, Tony. Hey, Carol. Hey, Julie. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Judith. Hey, Diane. Hey, Dolores. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Linda. Hey, Faith. Hey, Lorena. Oh, my gosh. Lucy, you've been out for three months. What happened? Where have you been? Hey, Nell. Hey, Jana. Hey, Reva. All right. So, I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday morning. I am running behind because I did not want to get out of my toasty bed this morning. It is cold. <laughs> supposed to be I think 70 today but this morning it was like 45 and um I turned my heat off at night so my house was super cold and I just didn't want to get out of the cover so I like it nice when nice and cold when I'm sleeping but then when I get up I, I gotta get up run and turn the heat on real quick then get back in bed for a few minutes while it warms up so, um, these are a couple of the cards that we might make today so we're gonna be doing on the fly today so I came up with a couple cards, but I said, these cards are so easy. So what I did was I cut up a pile of um, just card fronts and pieces of the paper and um, all sorts of stuff, the back pieces. And so what we're gonna do is just kind of mix and match today. We're gonna just make some quick and easy cards. Some of them might be this one or this one, but they might be different. So we're just gonna kind of play around today um, I was going to make a whole bunch and then just copy them, but I thought I don't have time for that. So <laughs> I just made this one about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so, so we're just going to have fun today. So this is the, my new favorite thing. This is one of the dies that comes in this new bundle. So the bundle is available. We've got the paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Meandering Meadow. And it's coming um, on, in the online store on Tuesday if you are not a demonstrator. If you are a demonstrator, you can get it right now. Um, but if you're not a demonstrator, you can order it on November 7th in the online store. It's not in a catalog or anything. So it's just absolutely um, beautiful paper that kind of looks like paintings. Um, most of the backs are kind of plain, but the front is absolutely gorgeous. And there's 48 sheets of 6 by 6 now the backs are kind of like watercolor of some of them and they're they're kind of plain but there's a few that have designs but that's the paper and then you get the stamp set which is garden meadow and the dies and this is the dies and this one comes in it and it just makes the coolest cards because it pops these out so you just take a piece of cardstock or a piece of the paper and you cut it and so it'll cut out the center piece and now this is two that don't match but um, it'll cut the center piece and then the outside piece and then um, what I did was I embossed the outside piece of all of them the inside pieces are just let me find the one that goes with this so this is what it looked like originally when I cut it first so it's like that and then I popped that out and I did the same with the piece that looks like this. And then I just ran 
this through the embossing folder. I did, this one is the brick one. And I also did some with the um, Distress Tile one. And I love, this is like my favorite new, new embossing folder. I love it, it's so pretty. So I just went to the back of the paper and if you look on the back of any of your papers, it tells you what colors go with it, like balmy blue, black, blueberry bushel, cherry cobbler, crushed curry, fresh freesia, garlic green. This one has a ton. So I just picked out like five or six colors in that list for my um, cards today. So we're just going to mix and match, see what you guys like. I only brought one ribbon, which is the linen thread. But this is so fun. So you're going to cut first. I just got regular card front pieces so they're four and a, um, four by five and a quarter and then the back is the regular size five and a half by eight and a half um, and then I cut the this paper the same size also for some of them some of them I cut different like this one and I'll show you that um, also so if you do the whole piece like this does that match no that doesn't even match but <laughs> Pretend this is the piece that goes in here. So if you do this this way and do, so this piece has the, the cutout shape and the um, edging on it, then you need to cut your designer paper to five and a quarter by four. If you're gonna just do um, like I did this card and I didn't cut it out with that, then you just need these strips like this. And it just so happens, so I cut this at three inches in half so you can get two out of a sheet of paper. And it fits exactly perfect inside this. So um, if you want to get two per sheet, just cut them in half. If you want to just get one per sheet, then you can cut it out like that. So you have choices um, to do that. And then, um, so that's the dies, that's the stamp set, that's the paper. I use these two embossing folders, the um, Distressed Tile, I think that's the name of it, Decorative Distressed Tile or something, and the Exposed Brick. That's another one of my favorites. And I've got something to show you. You guys are going to flip out. So um, let me see if I got comments on here real quick. Um, oh, Beth is on here. Hey, Beth. Hey, Kay. Did Lucy say where she's been? Oh, she was visiting her brother. Oh, and you couldn't watch videos. Bummer. Uh, DSP is so beautiful. Yes, Anya, it is. Yeah, don't forget, thumbs up. As soon as you come on, do a thumbs up. You would freeze if you turn the heat off. Well, my house, you know, when I go to bed at night, it's usually like, I don't know, 66, 65, something like that. And it doesn't really go down all that much, maybe like to 62 at night inside the house. So it's not like freezing. Occasionally it's gotten down to 60, but um, it only takes, you know, 15 minutes to warm it back up. So. so even if it's cold outside, like really cold, the inside of the house is maybe like 60. So it's not too bad, but that's chilly to get out and take a shower and stuff. Uh, my screen is not blurry. It's really good. You could use dimensionals. Yeah, we could. You cleaned your glasses and now the screen is still blurry. <laughs> Try refreshing your page, Vicki, because I'm seeing it totally clear. So I think it's your computer. Um, yes, the embossing folder takes this paper over the top. Yes, I love it. Okay, so this is a funny story. So I got this package in the mail um, day before yesterday from Minerva Rico. So I was all excited because I love getting stuff in the mail, but I was not prepared for what was inside. So there's a funny story. So I remember the napkin video that I did that has gone viral. It's got like 50,000 views now, which is crazy. So um, Minerva sent me a message and she's like, I love your video. She said, I'd want to make it, but the ribbon that she wanted to use was um, not available. And she said, do you have any extra that I can buy from you? And I said, well, I don't have any extra. I just have like the one roll. And um, I said, I can just send you some. So I just, I said, how many cards you want to make? And she's like, oh, just a few. So I just cut some pieces, put them in an envelope and sent them. Well, she sent me this as a thank you gift. And I was like, oh my gosh, 
Wait till you see it. You're going to die. This is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so I, I open it up and I'm like, oh my gosh. So first I think that it is like a framed art. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like a framed art and it's just so gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see like how it's, it's, uh, they're just gorgeous. And they have some kind of like crystal glittery stuff on them, but everyone is just like perfect. And the way she packaged it, it just came out perfect. And so I'm thinking, well, there's no card and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, this box is like the most perfect box I've ever seen. So I didn't even really realize at first it was a box. I thought it was more like a canvas or something. And I'm like, well, that's weird. There's no card with it. <laughs> then, then I realized it's a box because <laughs> I see that little, little notch there. So I'm like, oh, there's something in it. Wait till you see this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> this is the card. <laughs> like blown away this is the most beautiful card I have ever seen in my entire life so um I just was like wow so I just had to show you guys because I know isn't it like in incredible I said uh yeah yours was would have definitely been like <laughs> number one in the contest <laughs> But I just got it, so we already had the contest. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And every piece has just this sparkle on it. And it's just, it's so, like, perfect. And I don't know how long it took her to make this, but I'm thinking it was several hours. And I just was like, ooh, amazing. So, and that's the inside. So, Minerva, that is, like, the most beautiful card ever. And thank you, thank you, thank you. It is just amazing. So I had to show everybody that. And that box is so cool. I've made boxes before, but they didn't come out that perfect. There's there always a wonky corner or something, but um, I just thought that was insanely beautiful. So I had to share it with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Minerva. That is amazing. And she's another Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And she lives in Texas. So, she's amazing. I'd like to take a class with her sometime. And then I also got, remember that card that was in um, one of my birthday cards? That was from um, Jenny Harrell. She sent me the pattern for it, the little jar one. So, thank you. I'm so glad you sent that. Wait a minute, there's a note. So excited, yep. Yeah. It is Honey Bee Dyes, Mason Jar and Honey Cuts. And she sent me the pieces. So if anybody wants to order that, that's the website, honeybeestamps.com. So it has the jar and, oops, pieces. So you guys remember that? I didn't bring it in here, but it's the, the little jar card that flips open. So thank you. I'm probably gonna have to order that now because I don't know if I, I was gonna trace it and cut it out, but I think it'd be too hard to cut out. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. All right, so um, that is that. Oh, don't forget the card kit for um, the first through the 15th is this one with the deer and the distressed paper. So you'll get a kit to make all of those. And then you'll also get a napkin to make napkin cards. This can make two cards because there's two pieces in it. And I embossed one, one of those. And it's a small napkin, so it's um, probably better to do like a book binding card with it. So you'll get the cards and the napkin for orders of $50 or more using the host code. Please make sure you use the host code, okay? Um, Lucy says she'll be doing a tutorial on that card and box. All right. Yes. <laughs> That'd be like an 18 hour video. <laughs> I don't think if I made that card, I don't think I could give it away to somebody. So I'm really excited. She gave it to me because I think if I spent that much time on a card, I would be like, Oh no, nobody's getting this card. I put it in a frame, which I think is what I might do. Like try and find a shadow box or something to put it in. Cause, uh, 
Yeah, she should have been the contest winner. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes to whip that, that out. That's right. That was definitely a gorgeous card. I know it. All right, and if your order's over $100, you'll also get the gems. So um, don't forget that host code, though. So that's the card kit. Um, let's see. Any other news I got? I don't... Th oh, I know what I wanted to show you. So also, I discovered this. So if you take this same die that comes in that um, suite, put it with this paper, and that will make some gorgeous cards too. So look at that. If you just put it on there and make a card, or put it there. Not that one. I don't like that one I'm for this anyway. But there's a lot of other ones in here that are got them all mixed up. This one would be a pretty one. Look how pretty that would be. So this die you can use with other things too, not just this paper, but I wanted to show that to you. All right, oh, I forgot too, it comes with these. So it comes with these uh, birds and dragonflies and they're super flat, they're not raised up, so they uh, mail very nicely and they're very lightweight, like super lightweight, so they won't weigh your card down. So we're gonna use some of those today. All right, so let's get started. So I think I got all my talking things out of the way. More like three days. Yeah, probably three days. It is a work of art, that's for sure. Um, do we know in celebration? Celebration will be January, February. I think just January and February. I'm not sure if it's March too, but I think it's just January and February. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know, but that's when it was last time, right? February, or maybe it was February and March. I don't know. It used to always be January and February, and then they added two, and it was like January, February, and, um, July and August. Then they went back to one, and I can't remember if it's January and February or February and March, but it'll be coming up soon. So, um... Yeah, spring catalog, early January should be celebration. Yeah, it probably it's probably January, maybe February, but I think it's January. All right, so let's look through the pile here. And I also, I cut off all these strips, you know, off the edges. So I made those so that you can put them inside the card. So here's the inside. So this one I put this way and then stamped the little flower. And this one I put across the bottom and stamped the little flower. So there's the two. So let's go through our pile. So we've got the card backs in all different colors. So I have um, blueberry bushel, fresh freesia. Um, wait a minute. This is blueberry bushel. This is starry sky. Crushed curry. Um, pretty peacock. Oh, that's another fresh freesia. And that's another um, blueberry. So I just cut a bunch of pieces up. I have another one over here too. There's a balmy blue one. All right, and then I did my um, backing pieces. So we've got, these are the inside, these are the backs. And I embossed most of them. Oh, here's another pretty peacock. And then I left a couple just whole. So we might do something with those. So what you're gonna do is pick, I only did, uh, I only cut a couple of these out, like four. Okay, so let's do one with this first. So we'll start with this one. So then you want to pick a back to go with it. So you just kind of put it with whatever color you want. So try it with like the green or this is actually, I think the piece that it came in. So you could do it like that or you could flip it over and do it like that. That looks pretty cool. So look at that. That looks neat. Or you could do it this way, oops, this way, and raise it up above the, like put this on dimensionals and raise it up kind of in the center. That would look really pretty. Um, or we could do that green. We could do fresh freesia. We could do balmy blue, because it goes with all these colors. We could do starry sky. That goes really well. I don't think crushed curry goes. 
Um, did I do balmy blue? Yep. All right, so which one do you like the better? Do you like the printed one or these colored ones? Which one do you think goes best with that? So let me know in the comments. Which one you think? Do you want to put the pattern with the pattern piece, the garden green, fresh freesia, um, starry sky, or balmy blue? So we have green, blue. Hi, Donna. Colors, green. Um, pattern. Well, we're getting a bunch of everything. The pattern rays. Solid green. Fresh freesia. Okay, so everybody has a different choice here. <laughs> Starry sky. I think you guys are doing this on purpose. <laughs> the green backside. All right. Fresh freesia. Starry sky. They all go. Yeah, they all go, but I'm just trying to see which one that you like. Use the least color in the painting to pick your frame color. Okay. Huh. Starry sky. So, it looks like we've gotten more of the green or the starry sky. I really like it like this. With the pattern. Like, inside the pattern. I think that looks cool. But if you want to do it. How about we'll do one of each. So, we'll do one with the pattern. Because I have two. And then we'll do one with the green because that seems like a I really like that starry sky though I think that is pretty the green I don't know I like this one all right so we've got different views okay so what I'm gonna do for this one this is the easiest thing to do if you're doing it flat just match it up on the edges and put tape on the back. So I'm just gonna get some scotch tape and this is the easiest way to do it. So just tape it, make sure it's straight in there and tape it to the back because it's exactly touching the edges. So it's not like you can, um, I mean, you could glue it down on the paper and then do it, but I think this is easier. So just go all the way around doesn't have to be straight. Nobody's going to see the back. And I don't know why I put every piece on crooked. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So now, there you go. So now it's perfectly in there. So now we got to pick a back. Well, let's do this one too. No, we're going to do that separate. All right, let's pick a back piece. So we're going to put this with... That is Pretty Peacock or Balmy Blue. We don't want the same, oh, that does kind of look nice. The same color. Oh, I kind of like that. Fresh Freesia. That's the same one as that. <clears throat> Crush Curry doesn't go. Okay, so those are the choices. So we have Fresh Freesia. Um, that one doesn't match. Starry Sky or Balmy Blue or Pretty Peacock. I kind of like the blue on the blue. Um, what do you think? Starry Sky and Fresh Freesia. <laughs> Vicky says, why even ask us? I went with the, the most popular one, which was blue, Starry Sky. Barmy Blue. <laughs> Fresh Freesia, Balmy Blue, Balmy Blue. Dang, nobody likes the starry sky. I like the blue on blue. All right, so we've got three for Balmy Blue, one for Fresh Freesia. Blue on blue. We're getting more Balmy Blue than anything. All right, so we'll do Balmy Blue. Dang, I really like the dark blue on the dark blue. All right, but well, we'll do that one. Okay, so then just glue that down, or you can put this up on dimensionals, it doesn't matter. So put some t glue right around the edge and in the middle. Glue that down. And there's your card front. 
Now for the inside, we're just going to grab a piece of this paper, and I think that one goes pretty good. A piece of white, and we're going to stamp our, let's glue this down, I'm going to use just tape. And glue that down. And then we're going to stamp a flower. And this flower comes in the stamp set. And I'm just stamping it in black. Memento black. Right down at the bottom. And then you just want to color that real quick. And I just grabbed a few different... Um, color. So I got Shaded Spruce. This is Shaded Spruce Light. So I just kind of went on the inside of the leaves with that. You could color the whole leaf with that if you want to. And then this is Dark Soft Sea Foam. So I kind of just went and mixed it up a little bit with that. Just to lighten it up a little bit. I was looking for Garden Green. I guess we don't do we not have a garden green? Because I couldn't find one. So, and then I've got balmy blue for the flower. And this is a super easy flower. Just like swirl some color on in there. So there's your inside. I'm going to stick that inside. <laughs> I was watching a video. Oh my gosh. I don't want to be sound bad, but I was watching a video the other night and this girl's making a really cute card, but she went to glue it down and she literally like turned the paper over and she took her, she had some kind of crazy glue thing that was like, it was like the glue, but it was in a squeeze thing that, so you like pulled the trigger and the glue came out. I'd never seen anything like it. And she literally for five minutes went like this, <coughs> like this. It was like five minutes of putting glue on. <laughs> I started laughing so hard. I said, that thing's going to be empty in just a minute. And I thought it was going to ooze out the side, but it didn't. But it just cracked me up. It's funny. The, the things that crack me up just are crazy. But Okay, so for the front, we're going to put... I only brought happy birthday, so all my cards are going to be birthday cards. So this one will do Starry Sky. And just stamp happy birthday. I just bought some scraps of white with me. So here's a little white scrap. And we're just going to stamp that right, hopefully in the middle. And there you go. All right. And then we're going to cut this off and make a little arrow. And dip it in there oops I had the best time at work last night I had like we weren't like crazy busy and Friday nights are usually pretty fun to work because they're not like super crazy but we had the nicest patients just keep coming in until one one guy came in and he was a jerk but that was like the only person that was a jerk and I don't know why he was a jerk he just was some people just get irritated because we have like this little kiosk you sign in on when you come in. And so you put in like your name, date of birth. Um, and then it asks you a couple questions, you know. So it's not like a big thing. But so when the guy came in for me to register him, I'm like, oh, what's your date of birth? He goes, can't you see it? I just put it in that computer. I said, well, no, I can't. I said, it's just our way to verify that you're the person I just called. And um, he's like, so he says it really fast. So like he's trying to say it really fast so that I can't tell what he's saying, just to be a jerk. <laughs> and I, said, I said, you're just going to have to slow down a little bit because <laughs> I can't listen when you're talking so fast. <laughs> All right. So you're going to put this wherever you want. You don't want to really cover too much of this because it's so pretty. But, um, you know, anywhere you want it to go. So I'm going to put it on with dimensionals and then do you want a bow or just like the loopy 
linen thread. I've got a little bow or we could do like the loops behind the birthday. Which one would you rather see? Thank you. Oh, their na your neighbors have their leaf blower going. Plastic sleeves. Wait a minute. What are we talking about? The glue press. Oh, it's a glue press from the same company that makes Misty. Huh. No. What's Jalen saying no for? Starry or Freesia? I know. <laughs> Get spam calls. I keep cards forever. I really do keep cards forever. Um, I don't know. Um, will the scotch tape deteriorate over time? I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> but you're putting regular glue on it too. So I think the regular glue will hold it. But that's just going to hold it in place. So I don't know. All right, bow. A lot of times you don't put any sentiment on the front. Yep, you could do that. All right, so that was called a glue press that she had. It was really cool because she just like, it was like trigger thing and the glue came out, but um, it was just cracking me up because she was taking, she was going to make sure that every single centimeter of that paper had some glue on it. So it was just cracking me up. Oh, your husband's making you lunch. Nice, Linda. All right, one person said bow, one person said loops. So I guess y'all don't care. So I'm gonna do a little bow. So we're just gonna put this down. And if you don't wanna do a, anything on here, do it in the inside, you can. So then you don't cover anything. Or you could do it over here. I'm gonna do it on this. I don't know, I kinda like it on this side though. I don't know, I'm just, I can't decide hard because you don't want to cover that paper all right and then I've got my linen thread so I'm just gonna do a little teeny tiny bow we don't want to take away from the beauty of this paper so tie a little bow so oh so anyway the guy so I'm checking him in and then he had never been there before so I'm like oh you've never been here before he goes I've been here before and I said well it's not popping up um, that you've ever been here before. And he goes, I've been here before. So he was like trying to argue with me. And I'm like, okay, well, let me put your social in and see if that matches. Because it's not matching your name and your date of birth. So he gives me a social. And again, it doesn't pop up. Because, you know, first we try to match it by their name and date of birth. If that doesn't match, then, then we use their social. So nothing matched. So he had never been there before. But he was just probably been to some other place that's like ours all right so then put this I just kind of rolled that a little bit because these glue dots are a little bit too big with the little tiny bow okay and then we're gonna put some of these little birds on here because they're so cute so let me get my take your pick tool and um so he didn't have his insurance card. So he wants to argue with me some more. And he's like, can't you just look it up in your computer? And I'm like, no, I don't have like a magic computer that has everybody's stuff in there. I said, only like, you know, the hospitals and stuff usually have that. So there's a couple little dragonflies. Aren't they cute? And see how thin they are? I mean, they're literally, literally like paper thin. They're just so cute. But they stick. They come already sticky. So, and then we're going to put some spray on here. So there you go. There's another one. So now we've got these three. Aren't they gorgeous? It really doesn't take much to make these cars. I'm telling you, they're just so pretty. All right. So now let's try this one with the pink. This pink. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We were going to do this one. Sorry. Hold on. Let's go back. So I had said, let's do this one. All right, so this one just needs a back to it. And I think Pretty Peacock goes really well with this one. So let's do that. So we're going to glue the back down. Or should we do the front? Should we raise the inside or raise the outside? 
if we put that flat and then we can pop this up or you can put this flat and pop this up. I think it looks better with this popped up. So let's do that. So we're gonna glue oh, oh, this down. And this is so thin, sometimes it's hard to get it straight. All right, let's hope I get it straight. but he was just being difficult. So of course I didn't have his insurance. And so then he got mad and he's like, <sighs> you know, <laughs> and, and his wife's on the phone on speakerphone, like sitting there on the desk, which always irritates me. Cause I don't like when somebody's on the speakerphone, just listening to the conversation, you know? And uh, so I'm like, well, does your wife have your insurance card? He's like, no. I said, well, then you're just going to have to call the insurance company and get them to give you the information over the phone or tell you how to look it up online or something. And he was just getting more irritated. <laughs> and I'm saying, I said, well, you need your stuff. You know, when you come to the doctor, you need your ID and your insurance. That's like um, common sense. You know what I should do? I should use this stuff. So this is the um, foam sheets. Let me just use a piece of this. We'll put that right there. That would be easier than using a ton of dimensionals and keep it straighter. So some people, I swear, you just can't do anything to please them, but. Most of the people I had were so nice, and I, I was just cracking up, cracking jokes, and um, we were having a good time. All right, so there's that popped up like that. I probably should have used like a big piece of foam under there, but that's all right. All right, so do we want to put words on that, or a bow, or just some birds? Let's put a couple birds. You took like four pieces of cardstock when cutting out the frame. It looks so good. We're glued together and it was dimensional. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, we're gonna put a couple birds, oops, on here. Why I grabbed that end, I don't know. Cause that's the wrong end. All right, and then should we put words on this or leave it and stamp the inside? Because we could put something on the inside. And I'll have, let me see, that one doesn't match. How about that one matches? So we'll put that one down the side. And should we stamp happy birthday on the inside or apparently it's supposed to be better for the grass leaves. Yeah, I do that. I have a mulching mower. So when my, I mow the grass, it cuts all the leaves up into little teeny pieces. Um, are having like 10 different conversations here. I can't even follow what you're talking about. I'm going to finish cards. <laughs> oh, it looks like you're looking out the window. Ah, oh. raise the outside. Okay. We'll do another one, Vicki, and raise the outside. That way it'll look like we're looking out the window. We could make a door out of this and open it up. If you cut it just right on the edge here and don't cut that off, you could make a door that opens up. That would be cool. All right, what do you guys think? Words or no words on the front? Words inside. Okay, so words inside. So we'll just put our little happy birthday. Oops, I got pretty peacock. So let's put that. And no bow. 
on this one. How about a little flower in the bottom? You want a little flower? Words inside only for that one. Okay. Could we do a little flower? We could do that too. No. Anybody like that? Stick it on the side or no? I think it looks good just like it is. We could put a little flower here on the inside or stamp it. Yes, okay, let's do that. So, we're gonna pop, not pop it up, but not just stamp it right on the paper. Oh, you like, I like participating in the video. So then it's like you're almost here talking to me. That's fun, isn't it? Too bad we're not like on a Zoom call, that would be fun. We could have Zoom video. But then if you guys were all talking at the same time, that would be kind of distracting. <laughs> all right, we're gonna glue that down. I'm just gonna use some tape. Put that up right there. Okay, then that's gonna go on the inside with some glue. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to do it with just the strips, because that's a little bit different. Oh, and then we need to do one that's popped up the way Vicki said. All right, and spray. Oops. Gorgeous, love it. Okay, I should have put scrap paper down there. All right, one more card down. All right, so I have another one, I think. Let me see, yep, here we go. All right, so this one we're gonna do the way Vicki said. So we're gonna take, what color? Nope. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think it goes with that one either. The blue looks pretty good. Fresh Freesia doesn't match. The yellow. Could do yellow. Or the blue. Or Pretty peacock might go. All right, what do you guys think? Blue, yellow, or peacock? Blue, poppy, ick, throw the yellow away. <laughs> Yellow's not my favorite color either. <laughs> Wrong yellow. <laughs> it says crushed curry. Peacock, blue, Blue peacock. All right, we're gonna do pretty peacock, I think. I don't know, that blue looks pretty pretty. Pretty pretty, looks pretty pretty. <laughs> no, I like peacock, okay. All right, so we're gonna do it the other way. Now this one I didn't emboss on the um, outside piece, but we're gonna do, um, let's see. I think we should do the outside first. So we're gonna put, this is a good one to use this stuff. So put strips of this down the side. So that'll just keep it straighter. So this is in the big catalog if you haven't seen it yet. It's just the, um, oops, I cut that too fat. We'll use that one on the bottom. It's just the, um, oh, what is it called? Some kind of foam. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it just comes in a pack of sheets, like, mm, I can't remember how many you get. I bought it a long time ago. Oops, I think I cut too much on this one. Nope, perfect. All right, now here, we're gonna have to put some little ones because that's not gonna fit. And maybe we could cut a little teeny piece. Right here. 
right there. Okay. All right, so there's the back raised up. So let's peel off all this stuff. Okay, now we gotta make sure we get this on straight. Because once it goes down, I think we're stuck. But that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna put this just straight down, glued up, glued to the back piece. I probably could have raised this up even higher, I think, but. All right, we're gonna use regular glue for that. So just tuck it right in the opening there. So there you go. Love it, okay. Do we wanna put something on that? We need some, some, um, Dragonflies, we could do. Anybody want words on this one? What do you guys think? They also sell the foam strips. Peacock goes with everything. That would be nice. Zoom would be fun if you did a small card class, yes. I think we're gonna do dragonflies on this one. Maybe three. All right, so there's that. You think we should put words on it or no? Inside? Now this one, I have this piece that goes on the inside. So quiet here. None of my neighbors are out. Well, I cut that too short, didn't I? Oh, well. <laughs> and then we're going to steep a little flower in here. I love this little flower. It's so cute. And so easy to color. I want to take like a minute to color. So let's do that. the shaded spruce. It's pretty. And there are quite a few words in the stamp set. I just don't have the blocks sitting here to put them on the block. But, um, oh, here's one. I don't know what that is. You're in my prayers. I don't know what this is from. It's just sitting on my desk. So we're going to do that one. Don't ask me what it's from because I have no idea. It's just sitting here. But it's pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay. So this will go on the inside. You should see my table. In my stamp room, this is my office that I tape the videos in. In my stamp room, I have right next to where I sit, there's probably like 20 um, words with uh, that are on blocks, and I just pick, pick one. <laughs> So I always have like words. I don't know what sets they go to or anything, but I just pick one. All right, we're gonna, let me do this off camera because I don't want to keep getting my paper wet. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? So here's what we got so far. We've got this one, this one. I think I need to put some more dimensionals under that. Here's these. Cut that in half. Kind of curling up a little bit. Okay. So on um, Halloween, you know, I did my video early 
And then it was really kind of cold and rainy here, so I didn't want to go sit outside and give out candy, so I put a big bucket of candy out front. And I only had like maybe six groups come to the door. All right, so that's what we got so far. You wanna make another one? Um, oh, I still gotta show you how to do the strip ones. So these are the ones that are just cut in half and then I trimmed them down to, oops, I didn't trim those. I trimmed them down to a little bit. It doesn't, you don't really have to trim them down. So if you just cut it in half, you can get two out of one sheet. So we're gonna pick one of these back pieces. So let's take this one. So this one came with this. So it was like this and I just cut a little bit off the um, bottom. So that was just one sheet right there. So we're gonna take that and it fits exactly perfect in the center because the opening from here to here is three inches and the paper is three inches. So it's perfect. So I think that green goes really well, but we've got green, we've got balmy blue, that goes really well, or fresh freesia, all of these go really well with this one. So what do you think? Which one you want with this one, green, freesia, or blue? Green is perfect, perfect green. Bring on another one. Jaylen said she just made eight or 10 with this designer paper. Too much with balmy blue, green. Too much balmy blue, okay. And freesia, so we think green is better. Blue, green, green. All right, I think green is the winner for this one. So we're gonna do the same thing. So this one, just figure out where you want it to go. And that looks perfect right there. Line up the sides. The top and the bottom don't really matter. This one has a little bit extra, at, you know, going this way. So you just wanna line up the sides and make sure you don't have any gaps there. So, um, that's so funny. It's coming out crooked, but it's gonna be okay. So let's tape a piece just to make sure. So we'll tape this side. I've got it right on the edge here. Okay. All right, see how that looks. Oops, it's a little crooked. So I gotta straighten it out. You definitely don't wanna have a gap. Okay, here we go. All right, so then just go around the edges, glue it, or uh, tape it down. And I don't have much room to tape it at the top. I'm gonna tape a little bit at the bottom. But it'll be fine once we glue it to the paper. Okay, so now we have another decision to make. So that goes in there perfect, perfectly. All right, so now we need the back piece. So do we want fresh freesia? Or, well, I don't have many left, do I? Or the blue. Is that all I've got left? Yep. Oh, wait a minute, I got this blue. The starry sky. So which one of those do you want out of those three? They all go. Blue is rich. Could you glue the scenic piece onto the card front? Yes, you could. You could. It just might be hard to get it straight. Okay, most people say the blue one. So you think this blue or that blue? I think this blue. Okay, so we're just gonna glue that down or you can pop it up if you want to, either one. Oops. Put 
that on the front. I think this one needs words on the front. All right, so then we're gonna get a piece for the inside. That's the inside. Put that down. Oh look, that's a pretty back. Oh, we didn't do the back on any of them. The back of the um, paper. Because I thought that came out really cool looking too. When you have like that green background. But nobody liked that, right? When you did that one. Like that. I thought that looked good. But nobody voted for that. But I think that's pretty. I like it. Alright, I think this one needs words on the front. What do you guys think? Needs something. So we'll just do our happy birthday on one of these little strips in blue. This, this happy birthday is in this set, plus a couple other um, word stamps. But I just said happy birthday. I need a lot of birthday cards, so we're gonna do happy birthday. All right, make a little notch. Okay. Oh, so anyway, I was telling you guys about Halloween. I have a funny joke today too. And oops, we need to dip this. So I put the big bowl outside and I hear like about six groups come through. So after about the fourth group and you know, sometimes you can hear an adult with them saying, just take one piece, just take one piece. But a lot of times it was kids by themselves and I could hear them going, oh yeah, yeah, they have, she has a lot of stuff. Cause I had like you know, Skittles and Snickers and the fun size ones, but a big bowl. So after like the fourth group came, I opened the door just to check. That bowl was empty. It had one blow pop in there. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Cause I mean, maybe total in those four groups, I don't know, there was maybe three or four in each group. They took all the candy. <laughs> I was so mad. So then I put some more out there. And then a couple more groups came and they weren't as greedy as the first group. So luckily I didn't get all my candy taken, but did any of y'all do that? Put your um, candy outside in a bowl and then some of the kids all took it. Oh, let's put some thread under here. What did I do with it? Um, I lost my thread. Oh, here it is. Y'all can see I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> my favorite pajamas. All right, so we're just going to wrap a couple times around here. Let's just do three. Yes, usually I answer the door, but it was just so cold and rainy. I didn't want to answer the door, and uh, I figured I wouldn't have that many anyway. So let's put a glue dot on this. Okay, and then we'll kind of stick it. Well, that came out a mess. <laughs> the glue dot didn't stick on there very good. All right. There we go. Let's pull that down a little bit. Spread them out. All right, and then we need a few. Let's do some um, gems on this one. So I brought some different gems. I think these will match pretty good. So let's see if that. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let's put some blue ones in there. And the purple ones will go too. All these colors go. And then I took, I took the rest of the candy I had to work. Man, they just ate that stuff up. 
Let's see. Put it down there. All right, and then another squirt. And there we go. All right, so we have been on here an hour, so I think I'm gonna stop, but I still have a lot left that I can make. So I think I might go make some more today, but hopefully you guys will make some more too with this idea because it's so easy. Just cut a bunch of back pieces and a bunch of front pieces and then just stick them all together. So here we go. Here's all the cards we did today. So let me put them all out. So if you wanna take a screenshot, whoops, that's just a blank one. There you go. So I hope you liked that. I don't like that right there. I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy. Oh, guess what? I have a joke, so don't go yet. And I have cards to give away, so. Um, hold on one second, don't go anywhere. Oh, refill putty. I have refill putty. I just need to twist this up a little bit. It's got it's got more in there. But there are refills for this putty. So we'll do that. Okay, that's what I want to do, Linda. I want to live in a 55 and older neighborhood. And um, like the villages in Florida, kind of. Except I don't want to move to Florida. I like... Uh, yours won't twist and they're new? That's weird. I don't know why. I want to live in the villages and just like have one of those party, you know, neighborhoods where everybody like socializes and stuff. I think that'd be fun. All right. So here's my joke. Um, it's kind of a story joke. So the Pillsbury Doughboy died yesterday of a yeast infection and trauma complications from repeated pokes in the belly. He was 75. Doughboy was buried in a lightly greased coffin. Dozens of celebrities turned out to pay their respect, respects, including Mrs. Butterworth, Hungry Jack, the California Raisins, Betty Crocker, and the Hostess Twins, and Captain Crunch. The gravesite was piled high with many flowers, and, and they spelled it F-L-O-U-R-S. All the words are spelled like cooking. Aunt Jemima delivered the eulogy and lovingly described Doughboy as a man who never knew how much he was needed, and that's with K-N-E-A-D-E-D, -E -E like you're kneading bread. Born and bred in Minnesota, Doughboy rose quickly in show business, but his later life was filled with turnovers. He was not considered a very smart cookie, wasting much of his dough on half-baked schemes. Despite being a little flaky at times, he still was a crusty old man and was considered a positive role model for millions. Doughboy is survived by his wife, Play-Doh, three children, John Doe, Jane Doe, and Dosi Doe. Plus, they had one in the oven. <laughs> It's also survived by his elderly father, Pop-Tart. <laughs> the funeral was held at 3.50 for about 20 minutes. <laughs> if you smiled while reading this, please rise to the occasion and pass it on to someone having a crummy day and needing a lift. <laughs> so, I thought that was just so cute. I had to share it. So, I hope you liked that. And, um, oh, I've got cards to give away. So, hold on a second. And... I know there was somebody's name I wrote down because I I forgot where I put it. Wait a minute. Well, I'll have to go back to the comments from the last video. Oh, also I wanted to talk about something else because I forgot. Um, uh, so I wanted to start like a card thing. You know how like we did for Debbie Spicer and we sent her cards because she was going through you know, cancer and chemo and all that stuff. I know there's several people on here who are also going through cancer and I wanted to start like a card thing, sending people cards, but I do have to get their address permission to give their addresses. So what do you guys think about that for sending cards? And I know I had somebody's name already written down. I can't find it. So I'll just have to get another card. I can't find my pen. Hold on. I might have to use it. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So first winner. Let me move these out of the way. All right. So we've got some Christmas cards to give away. And the first winner is, let me see. 
I think we'll pick Lucy. Lucy has not been on here a while and a while, and she is a hoot. So, Lucy, you win one of these cards since you haven't been here in a while, and you get a card. Um, oh, Barbara, you're moving to the villages next year. I want to come. But I want to move, like, to South Carolina. So, I, I, does anybody know if they have, like, villages in South Carolina? Like, maybe Beaufort or... I don't know, Charleston area, somewhere like that. No, they didn't take my ball. They just took my, um, oh, somebody says on there, somebody took the ball with the candy. Dang, they left my ball, but they just took my, um, wouldn't it be fun if we could all move to the villages together? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I think that would be fun. All right. Who wants to win a card today that has never won one? Cam says she's ready to move. I know. I'm ready to move, too. Um, TR, you've never received a card. What is your name, TR? Vicky, Spirited Grace. I know Spirited Grace has never won one. Spirited Grace. I love that name. All right, you get a Santa Claus card, and I've got three more. So, TR, what's your name, TR? Anybody? Um, no, it's TR, but we don't know what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, send your address. I mean, your yeah, send me your address at stampgirl2 at cox.net. All right, two more. Oh, Mel, you could never move near the beach. Oh my gosh, I don't want to move away from the beach. I'm a water girl, so I really, really like the water. Um, Linda Davis, okay. All right, you win this one, and I've got one more. Um, how about Mary? Okay, Mary, I think you're the one that I was trying to remember from last time, I think. Schreiber. Okay. All right, there are the winners for this time. So we've got Mary, Linda, TR, I still don't know TR's name, and um, Spirited Grace, Lucy, oh, and that's my card. So there we go. So make sure you send me your address, Stamp Girl 2. Don't forget the 2 at cox.net. And um, let me know what you think. Oh, Tony. Tony, that's Tony. Okay. Tony. Tony's my new downline. Oops, Toby. Sorry. Toby. Sorry. With a B. Robles. Okay. There we go. How did I not know that? Um, all right. So if you are going through something and would like cards sent to you, let me know if you're struggling with cancer or just something really bad in your life and you need some uplifting, let me know and send me your address and we'll get like a little prayer thing going with cards for you guys. And I'll have that on the next video, hopefully. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I will be back Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Oh, Murals Inlet in South Carolina. My friend lives there. That sounds nice. Murals Inlet. Is that on the water, it sounds like? I'm going to have to write that down. All right. Thanks, you guys. I will see you soon. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. And get this kit so you can, um, or the suite, so you can make some of these cards too. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.